morning, sun's about to rise. I don't really want to get into my bed, but... Seems like this are why God made crampons. Hey, I'm Nature Man Mike. Welcome to my channel, where you can follow along in my adventures as I climb and summit epic peaks, split board through the backcountry, kite board wicked winds, fish and forage for food, and take you on many other unique adventures. Please subscribe and enjoy. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I wanted to go up the Logan Road this morning to get to uh, way further up the mountain to the trailhead. So I'm taking the CPR trail, which is gonna add, I think like six or 700 meters of vertical and I don't know, like five, six kilometers, maybe more uh, each, each way. So never mind. it's actually gonna add about thousand meters uh, just looking at this map <laughs> oh well you know what it's worth it I came really early in the morning hoping that uh, I'd be able to get up high and the snowpack would be really hard pack but it might be pretty soft and uh, post holding through a bunch just because the uh, warmer weather down here Liking this added bit of uh, elevation, it's pretty nice. Nice weather out though, not too warm, not too cold. A little bit overcast, so the sun's not beating down on me. Good break for a little dried mango. Looks like the peak is in the clouds, hopefully, they move up. These are all big old Douglas fir in here. This is a cedar right there, you can tell by the way it is, and the bark. So I'm almost at where I originally planned to start. You can see that's the summit of Coakley there. I'm gonna go up top of that and then go down the backside on along the ridge and hopefully get to a saddle. We'll see if it's really slow going through the snow, I might have to uh, set up camp somewhere over there on the snow. It wasn't so bad though, just two extra hours added. It's a pretty nice trail. Really well maintained, so thanks for all the volunteers who help uh, maintain it. All right, moment of truth. Am I gonna have post hole mania? Huh. It's not brutal. Just forage for some food up here. All right, I'm gonna set up camp right here. And it got foggy. Fuck, stuck in the clouds. Some half grind. Cheers. Clearing up every once in a while, but got myself a smoked oyster cheese wrap, some nice freshly brewed coffee. Mm -mm, can't complain. Just realized I brought up 600 grams of tortillas. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna eat all those. Nice campsite, but I think I'm gonna move to the top. Oh yeah, almost a peak. Oh yeah, campsite totally just leveled up. Zero wind up here right now too, crazy. Oh yeah. 40, the sun's about to rise. I don't really wanna get out of my bed, but. Yeah, looks like that. Time to wake up. Good you. So Hoping to get up this ridge line here. And these are called the bumps. And you can actually just see the top of the main gully over there before the summit of the Aerosmith, so. Nice step. 
pretty noisy at first too when the clouds were going through, it was pretty windy. That's just to be expected up here. Garlic butter. Then I got three eggs. Key is to cooking in the bottom of these things is stir, stir, stir. So that stuff doesn't get stuck to the bottom because it's just such a hot flame. You can do the Gordon Ramsay. On the heat, then get off the heat. On the heat, then take it off the heat. No, no, fucking take it off the heat. Bit more cheese. What more do you need, you know? Garlic cheese egg wrap. Ooh, yeah. There we go, leaving my sight just as it was. Oh, yeah. These are the snow conditions I'd like to see. Nice and hard on top. I don't know if this is the way for sure or not, but it looks doable. I'm gonna take this ramp down and over this way. Sections like this are why God made crampons. Nature's tap. My water bottle smells so garlicky. Ugh. <laughs> down really steep sections, I like to go down backwards like this. Much safer, way better footholds. Always three points of contact, pretty much. So, looking at this, it looks like maybe you can go down here. Go down here, it's pretty scrambly. Wouldn't really want to take a fall, so I took that little ramp that's right here. Hopefully get up main gully still. I've done that before, it's quick. And then uh, I'm probably just gonna go to a logging road because I'm sure I'll be dead tired. And Coming up to the bumps. Doesn't look too bad. Clouds are rising pretty quick and I really don't want to get stuck on that ridge. I've never done it. So deciding to turn around. I uh, don't think I'd have any trouble getting up and across these bumps, but I'm just not 100% sure how you get into, I think it's the, what would that be like? Northwest Basin um, to where the main gully is. I just don't know if you need ropes to get down into there from the bumps or if it's easy to get down. And it's starting to get pretty foggy. And I just don't want to take any, any stupid risks. I don't know if it's over there. It's COVID times, don't want to be calling search and rescue. So I'm just going to head back down to the car. Probably can get back in time to try to fish for some trout. So out of Cameron Lake, could use some extra protein, all this walking with this pretty Heavy bag. Pretty nice though. Call. I think I made a good call. I don't want to be navigating my way through that shit. Probably kind of intermittent, but I don't know. I've been here so many times where you just get stuck up there. And then the view's pretty shitty too, so I'd just be doing it for the sake of doing it. <laughs> you can hear me justifying everything to myself. Boring. 
the back of the trail. Peaks are still in the clouds, so feeling good about my decision. Tacking on the CPR trail really adds on a lot of kilometers. Feeling pretty tired. Finally down the CPR trail. Here the highway. Get that lake calling my name. Whew. Back at the van now. I think uh I'm gonna go jump in the lake and try to catch some trout if I can. I meant to keep the big guy here, but this one ended up swallowing a hook, so decided to keep him.